Welcome to Saddle River Range. We appreciate you taking the time to come out and shoot with us today. We're gonna head on in and go over some of the safety rules before we head out onto the firing line. But before we do, please make sure that all your guns are in a bag or a case, and if you're properly licensed in the state of Texas, you keep your gun in your holster until you're out on the firing line. So let's head on in and go over some more of the safety rules. Treat every firearm as if it was loaded at all times. Never point a firearm at anything you aren't willing to kill or destroy and always point your muzzle downrange. Keep your finger off the trigger until you've acquired your sights and you're ready to fire. Before entering Saddle River Range, all firearms must be secured in a case or bag. No person is allowed inside the shooting range unless they have a signed waiver of liability on file and have viewed the range safety video. Eye and ear protection must be in place before entering the shooting range and must remain in place until you exit the range. All firearms and ammunition must be safety inspected by the RSO prior to use. Upon completion of firing, all firearms must be cleared and made safe before being cased or holstered and leaving the firing lane. Never use or be under the influence of alcohol or drugs before or during shooting activities. Anyone under age 21 for handgun or age 19 for long guns <laughs> must be accompanied yeah. in the firing lane by a parent or legal guardian. Only brass cased ammunition is allowed on the range. No reloaded ammunition of any caliber is allowed. Armor piercing, incendiary, tracer, or steel core ammunition is not permitted. Only slugs may be fired from shotguns. Calibers up to 50 BMG may be fired. If you are renting a firearm from Saddle River Range, then you may only use ammunition you purchase from Saddle River Range in that firearm. No personal ammunition or reloads may be used in rental firearms. No black powder or muzzle loader firearms are allowed. Only RSO personnel may collect brass or spent shell casings from the range. All firearms must have visible and functional sights to ensure proper aiming techniques and safeguarding range equipment. Only Saddle River Range approved paper or cardboard targets may be used on the range. No food, drink, or tobacco products are allowed in the range area. Photo, video, cell phones, or any other devices that could be a distraction from safety procedures are not allowed on the range. Only two people are allowed in a firing lane, with only one person shooting at a time. You may only shoot one firearm at a time. Stay behind the shooting bench at all times and do not extend arms past the shooting lane dividers. Firing from the hip or any unsafe position is not allowed. All firearms must be properly pointed and extended downrange before firing. Shooting from a holster must be pre-certified and approved by an instructor or RSO. Rapid firing is allowed, providing the firearm is maintained under complete control at all times. Shoot only at the target in your assigned lane. Cross-lane firing is not permitted. No hand-to-hand -hand transfer of firearms. When sharing firearms with another person, do not pass firearms from one lane to another. Set it down on the bench and let the other person pick it up. If the firearm malfunctions, set it down on the bench and notify an RSO who will come and assist. All negligent discharges or property damage must be reported to the RSO immediately. Cease fire! In case cease of an emergency, fire! the command of cease fire will be called. Immediately place firearms down on the bench and stand against the back wall with hands empty. All verbal instructions issued by the RSO and Saddle River Range instructors must be followed at all times. The use of Saddle River Range facilities are a privilege, not a right. We reserve the right to prohibit any activities by any person at any time.